In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the AC condenser cooling fan assembly on your Honda Pilot. Located in the engine bay, let's get started. There's going to be 13 clips in this top trim piece. Go ahead and remove them all. We're going to lift the trim piece up and remove it from the vehicle. We're going to remove the two connectors on the top of the fan. There's going to be push buttons. Push that and then slide the connector out. Just like that. Then there's going to be a plastic clip on the cooling fan. Using a trim tool, we're going to pop that clip off. Just like that. That's the clip. We're going to follow that down and there's going to be one more right here. Remove the plastic stay on the side of the radiator fan. Down here, there's going to be one more connector. On the top side of this connector, there will be a little push button. We're going to push on this and then wiggle it and pull it up. We're going to remove the three 10 millimeter bolts for the hood latch. Remove the three bolts. We're going to remove the connector off of this bracket. There's going to be a little push button right here. Push that and then wiggle it back and forth. You'll be able to pull it off of that bracket. Remove the two 10 millimeter bolts at the top of the fan assembly. We're going to remove the clips for the under tray inside of the wheel well. And then do the same thing on the other side. On the bottom side of the cover, there will be two clips. One right here, second one right here. Remove those. We're going to remove the three clips on the front of the cover.
pull the cover down and remove it from the vehicle. Using a trim tool, we're gonna remove one more plastic clip off the bottom of the fan assembly. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove the two bolts on the bottom of the fan assembly. Remove the 10 millimeter bolt in the center support. Remove the clips for the grill. There will be two of them on each side. One right here, the other one right here. Once we do that, the grill can pull forward slightly. There's gonna be five clips located in about that location on the bottom side of the grill. Reaching down inside of the grill, we're gonna go after these clips using a pair of clip pliers. Go down the line and remove all the clips. With all the clips removed, remove the grill. Remove all of the 10 millimeter bolts out of these brackets and off of the condenser. And do the same thing on the other side. Then remove all the brackets. Pull the radiator assembly forward. We're going to pull our coolant line off of the radiator for now. Remove the condenser fan assembly. Grab the new condenser fan. Pull the assembly forward. And drop it in. Reinstall the brackets. The long bolts go into the top of the condenser. And the short ones go into the radiator support. Once you have your bolts started by hand, go around and snug them down. Install the 10 millimeter bolts for the top of the condenser fan. Just 
snug them down. Grab the coolant hose, run it under the radiator support, and then put it onto the radiator. Slide the hose into the clip, and then one more down here if it was removed. We're going to pull the middle support slash hood latch back to the radiator support. Install the bolts. With all the bolts started, snug them down. Install the connector. Push it together until you hear a click. If you don't hear a click, give it a pull. Make sure it's locked in. Connect the fan connector. Install the grill onto the car. With our grill in place, we're going to grab our clips, go inside behind the grill and onto the bottom. And there's going to be five spots for the clips. Install the five clips. Install the clips on either side of the top of the grill. Install the top cowl. And then go through and install the clips for the cowl. We don't have all the clips for this cowl. There should be 13 of them in total. Install the bolt for the center support. Snug the bolt down. Install the lower radiator bolts. Snug them down. Install the second lower radiator bolt. And snug it down. Install the under tray. We're going to hook it up inside of here first. We're going to tuck it under this inner fender liner. And install the clip in this top corner so everything's held in for me. Install the clip up into the frame rail. There's one on the bottom right here. Once you have all the clips installed on this side, go ahead and do the same thing on the other. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.